Bushcraft 412 and today I want to talk about the USGI poncho and the poncho liner as a sleep and shelter system. Um, I've been using this combination now for a couple of months, um, most of the summer, so I've got about probably 15 to 20 nights I spent in the woods with this setup. And I just wanted to go over it because I'm really impressed with this and I've been using it as my, my primary system for most of the summer. And this is actually the system I used when I was uh, camping during uh, Hurricane Irene. So this is actually tested in, you know, tropical storm weather. Um, right now I have everything all rolled up. The uh, sleeping bag liner is in with the poncho and everything's all rolled up. I wanted to show you this because it would be too tough to roll on camera. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the size and what it looks like rolled up. And as you can see, I didn't do a very good job rolling this. There's a lot of dead space in there. You could probably cut the size down to about a third of that. And just for a comparison, show you. You know, you're looking at, you know, about the size of, about the length of a bottle of booze and about the little wider. You could probably, you could probably get this down to about that size if you really tried hard. Um, the actual poncho, this poncho, has a drawstring on it, and that's what I used to secure it. I didn't use any outside string or anything like that, so this is an all-inclusive system. Nothing added, no bungees or anything like that, which you can use bungees and rope or anything like that, but you don't need it with this setup, which is something I really like. You don't have to worry about losing string or losing rope or anything like that. Um, you can also just take this and jam this into a compression sack. Uh, if you put this into a compression sack, just wad it up into a ball, you can actually probably safely cut it in half and it'll be about that big. Um, total weight on this is about two pounds for the poncho, maybe a little over a pound for the liner. So you're looking at about a three pound system right here. Uh, let's get this down on the ground. And we are gonna try not to embarrass myself unwrapping this one handed. <laughs> Too late, you know. And we're going to talk about the benefits of this system and why this is such a versatile and awesome system for guys to try out. Now the poncho itself is a great poncho. Like I said, this is tested in Hurricane Irene. Completely waterproof, not a single leak, and the hood held great. Now I had this up over my hammock and was using the liner inside my hammock. Um, that's one way to set it up. There's so many different ways to utilize this system. I mean, I, I could go on all day and make a 50-minute a, a video on just this, how to set this thing up. But I have it set up right now as a sleeping bag, which is, I think, one of the most underutilized systems out there. Um, the poncho liner is a polyester fill liner. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, polyester fill liner. I believe it's a ripstop polyester shell and you basically just attach it to the uh, the poncho with little strings on the corner that go into the grommets and the grommets on the poncho are aluminum very sturdy these things held up to uh, 30 40 you know, maybe even 50 mile an hour winds and did not rip very sturdy no problems with uh, durability whatsoever this summer uh, so basically you can take this and stake out all four corners like you can see you know just tie them up and it holds the liner in place and there are grommets in each corner and it also has snaps as you can see here and what you do is to make this into a sleeping bag we're going to open this up even more because it's not even at full size yet you have snaps sorry this is a little tough one-handed and you basically snap this together snap here, snap here, you snap this together and make a sleeping bag. Um, size wise, we're going to stand up here, size wise as you can see this is very wide. Um, this is, I'm a big guy with big wide shoulders and normal sleeping bags are a little big for me. This is very roomy for me and long. Um, you're talking about 90 inches long so this thing's definitely long enough and wide enough for a big guy. Um, I really don't like sleeping bags because I, I, I can't stand mummy bags. But this to me is very comfortable. Um, as for a temperature rating, I would say the military says this is comfortable down to about 50 degrees in their field manual. But 
I've taken it down to 40, but that's wearing heavy clothes, you know, and sleeping in your heavy, you know, sleeping in, you know, some big heavy fleece sweaters and whatnot. Um, so I'd say 50 is probably a pretty reasonable range for this to use as a sleeping bag. Now, if you're going to set it up other ways, and of course it affects the temperatures, um, you can use the, uh, the poncho as a ground cloth and then just use the liner as a sleeping bag. You know, wrap it around you like a blanket. You can use the poncho as a tarp and then just lay under it with the liner and use some natural materials for bedding. There's so many different ways to set this thing up. But my preference is to use it like a sleeping bag. Um, very large. Let me get this. You can see it's it's pretty large. It's definitely way, you know, big enough for me and I'm a big guy. Now let's talk about cost. The actual poncho was around 30 bucks, I think. I got it from a military base, um, Fort Drum in New York. And the liner I got online through a site and I believe it was 23, 24. Uh, I believe the liner is probably an aftermarket um, kind of remake, probably Rothko or something similar. Uh, no problems with the quality at all. It's nice and warm. No problems with it at all. Um, now I know there are some old, you know, actual real military surplus ones around that are supposed to be, from what I hear, pretty amazing. So when you're out there looking and shopping, when you see those original ones, you might want to consider scarfing them up versus uh, the new productions that are coming out now by uh, basically, you know, contractors. Um, the hood, we're going to talk about the hood for a second. I have not had any problems with water getting into the hood um, when it, using it as a tarp. Um, some people I know tie them up, but I find you just give them, you know, a little twist and put them under and they're generally pretty good, you know, at least when you're in the tarp setup. But there's so much versatility in this kit. I love it. I use it in my hammock. I use it on the ground. You know, this is completely waterproof, so you have a really nice system. Really durable. You know, test it into Hurricane Irene. You know, you're talking about six hours of pounding rain and 30, 40 mile an hour winds with uh, the tarp, or the uh, the poncho as a tarp and me in a hammock with the uh, the liner. So altogether, your cost for this setup is about, say about 60 bucks for this setup. And what you're getting for your $60 is you're getting a ground cloth, a tarp, a sleeping bag, a ground pad, a poncho, um, and anything else you can go and a water catch. This thing, um, I did test this thing and it does hold water terrific. Um, you can actually dip this in and uh, carry water with it. Um, I used the uh, about half of it. I folded it up into a square, put it in water, and used it to transport transport water. It holds water really good, really waterproof. I didn't have to do any after after. And, Slow down here. <laughs> I didn't have to use any uh, products to waterproof it anymore. It holds water perfect. Um, hasn't leaked a drop. Uh, the grommets, as I mentioned before, are really high quality, made of aluminum. Um, some of the reproduction models might have plastic, but you want to look. Make sure they're aluminum. Uh, the snaps are plastic, but they're real heavy duty plastic. Ripstop nylon coated. Very good quality. For 60 bucks, this is a nice low cost alternative to a sleeping bag and tent setup. Uh, plus, if, if you're beginning and starting out learning bushcraft, this is a good backup to have in your bag. Uh, say you do want to go out and just do a trip with no gear. This is small enough and portable enough where you can roll this up and put it in your bag. And it's not a lot, it's three pounds altogether, but it's a good backup good backup system you know for if you need to you know kind of bail out during the night it gets too cold gets too wet nice backup this is also something you can stick in your trunk or your car for an shtf situation you know because you know you've got everything you know you've got a poncho if you get a flat tire you've got a place to sleep a blanket something to sit on if the ground is you know wet 
you name it. Uh, versatility in this is amazing. Your sleeping bag will not act as versatile as this. Your tent will not be this versatile. This is, this is what you need. This is everything you need all wrapped up. So I definitely recommend it for anyone interested in, you know, if you're looking at real primitive backpacking, bushcraft, things like that, definitely, I think, an absolute must-have piece of gear. 60 bucks. You can't go wrong. And, it, you know, long-term durability, I doubt this will last a lifetime. But given hard use, I would say this will last many seasons. Probably it'll last a lot longer than a, a sleeping bag will. And as for folding it, you can store this however you want. It's, uh, as you fold it, it gets pretty airy, as you can see. But you can wad this up into a compression sack and it gets pretty small. You can roll it, fold it, wad it into a ball. It gets pretty small when you really take the time. And plus you do have the uh, drawstring you can use to secure it. And as you can see, you know, this is pretty big, but it's also pretty airy. A lot of air to it. You can fold it up nice. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. It's Bushcraft 412 with the USGI poncho and